It's the week of May 7, 2024. My name is Brielle. And I am Ella. We'll go back to your local DSN. U.S. News in the mid-1970s, Judith Hernstad, an avid collector of 18th century artifacts, bought a set of sketches from a New York antique dealer, one piece depicting a scene from the Revolutionary War particularly stood out to her. The pen and ink drawings showed two women and a baby in a horse-drawn carriage filled with supplies. They were accompanied by six soldiers, two in the wagon, two on horseback, and two on foot. This artwork became a treasured addition to her collection, but it took 40 years to recognize its historical significance. In world news, renowned wildlife filmmaker and National Geographic explorer Bertie Gregory is known for capturing rare and unforgettable moments in the animal kingdom. On April 11, 2024, Gregory once again made headlines with his unprecedented footage of a flock of baby penguins bravely diving off a 50-foot cliff for the first ever swim in the icy Antarctic waters. In local news, this week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Bring in something special for your teachers each day. Check out the flyer to see what color is the theme each day. Let's go to William and Jace with This Week in History. Welcome to This Week in History. My name is William. And I am Jace. This Week in History, on May 7, 1945, Germany surrendered, ending World War II in Europe. The next day, Great Britain and the United States celebrated victory in the Europe Day. In 1887, Buffalo Bill's Wild West show premiered. This show featured horse races, battle reenactments, rope tricks, and marksmen such as Eddie Oakley. In 1869, the Transcontinental Railroad was completed, unifying the east and west coast of the United States. And in May 1934, a series of massive dust storms swept across the prairies of the United States, covering farms and forcing thousands of families to move to California during what became known as the Dust Bowl. See you next year on This Week in History. Have, Have a historical, historical summer. summer. Let's go over to Alan with sports. Welcome to sports. My name is Alan. In basketball news, the playoffs are still underway. Who will be this year's NBA's champion? In baseball news, the Diamondbacks just completed a series against the San Diego Padres here at home. Today they are at Cincinnati to take on the Reds. The game starts at 3.40 p.m. That is all for today. See you next year on Sports News. Have a sportacular summer break. Now let's go over to Caitlin and Maya with entertainment news. Welcome to Entertainment News. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Maya. Next Friday, the movie If is coming to theaters. If is about a girl who discovers that she can see everyone's imaginary friends and what she does with that superpower as she embarks on a magical adventure to reconnect with the forgotten Ifs with their kids. Applegate, the author of The One and Only Ivan, is releasing her fourth book in the series, The One and Only Family. Ivan has been happily living in a wildlife sanctuary with his friend Ruby next door in the elephant enclosure. Frequent visits from his canine friend Bob and his mate Kenyani by his side. In the happiest turn of all, Ivan and Kenyani have welcomed a set of twins to the family. That's all for this week. See you next year on Entertainment News. Have an entertaining summer! Let's go over to Mackenzie and Kayla with Fun Fact Trivia. Welcome to Fun Fact Trivia. My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Kayla. Did you know that today, May 7th, is National Teacher Appreciation Day? We are using this national day to say thank you to all teachers for their time and dedication to educate children. No matter where we are in life, a teacher influenced us. They continue to impact our lives every day, too. Your question for today is? In what year did Congress declare National Teacher Day? A, 2005. B, 1965. Or C, 1980. You have 10 seconds to make your decision. If you 
said C, you are correct. Eleanor Roosevelt persuaded the 81st Congress to proclaim National Teachers Day. Congress declared March 7, 1980 as National Teacher Day. How to observe this day. Refill classroom supplies, write a letter, or volunteer at a school to give support. See you next year on Fun Fact Trivia. Have a fantastic summer. Now over to Lorena with the word of the week. Welcome to Word of the Week. My name is Lorena. This week's word is vacation. Vacation is a noun and it means a period of rest from school, work, or other activities. Here's how it can be used in a sentence. We'll go on vacation as soon as school ends. See you next year on Word of the Week. Have an amazing summer vacation. Fun fact trivia. My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Kayla. Did you know that? September 26th. Wait. <laughs> so for this week, see you next time for entertainment news. Ah! I said four instead of on. News Atlantic Puffins have made a comeback in Maine. For the second year in a row, more of these seabirds have been able to raise chicks there. I'm glad that we had to do that because I was. See you next time with this week. Now let's go over to Alan and Raymond. This oh. Good morning, Desert Sunset. We hope you had a great weekend. We have a week full mm -hmm. of really fun, exciting things for you. Your Starting first. with Mrs. Balos. No, what do you oh. mean? You're washed up. Never mind. <laughs> Oh you got what our football valley Vardy, our Turnbull Valley varsity team, our football team. Welcome to Science Time. My name is Wyatt. NASA scientists have discovered the cause of smum. Smum. Look in history, an act of Congress made Yosemite. Yes, news. NASA astronaut Frank Rubio has set a new world record. No, that's not world record. That's just. Record. Local news, Buckeye just had the, no, not had, held. Now over to Lorena with the work. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Desert Sunset, and welcome back. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> In world news, the Natural History Museum in London holds a yearly contest for the wildlife Welcome to sports. My name is Alan. And I am Raymond. Welcome to Science Time. My name is Wyatt. Travis Ganger. If you are living. <laughs> if you are living for the. <laughs> Wait, trivia. My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Kayla. Perfect trivia. My name is Mackenzie. William. Oh. In local news, we currently have a food and warm clothing drive going on now until de December 14th. <laughs> local news, we currently have a food and warm clothing drive going on now. Not clothing, clothing. The fossil seems to have. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> This week in history, my name is William. And I'm Trace. This week in history, in 1901, radio pioneer Googly Elmo Matt Martin. <laughs> Stop saying Googly Elmo! That's what it says! It's all for sports today. That's all for Now over to Mr. Merlot. Merlot. Got the sticks. I say. Now let's go over to Alan and Wayman with some. Wayman. <laughs> I say Wayman. Arizona Resistance Fair opens this Renaissance. Hello, Desert Sunset, and welcome back to another fabulous week. We really don't have a whole lot going on. I didn't. I don't like that. I'm done. I'm just. It was. I don't. This is. I see her dancing on the corner of my eye. Welcome to Entertainment News. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Maya. Welcome to... <laughs> oh. The lack of... Oh my god, I forgot the way. The lack of... <laughs> Basketball news. That's you. Oh, wait, what am I doing? 
is the use of this. You still really have a J. Oh, I confused the colors. So, bro, I just read it and then I. I forgot what to say. <laughs> this episode. Local news, our holiday shop will be opening this week. Come shop for the... I... Uh, ah. That is all for this week's episode of DSM. See you next week. Bada. <laughs> that is all for this week. Oh. Welcome to This Week in a Street. My name is William. And I am Jace. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 That's all for this year's episode of DSN. Have an amazing summer break!